An AC adapter for DeWalt tools. One exists, not made by DeWalt. I ran across this looking at different tools on Amazon and eBay, trying to find something that kind of matched up with the DeWalt battery, but also had an AC adapter. And I thought this dude would be cool and so useful for many of you guys out there that I wanted to try it. We're gonna go through a whole gamut of testing. First, this is Malif. So I found it, I'll put some links in the description. First, I found this vacuum that looks almost identical to the DeWalt vacuum that I really like. And I thought, cool, they also have an AC adapter. This uses a DeWalt battery or this AC adapter. Let's give her hell and try it out. So this vacuum, pretty sweet. Sounds really powerful per se on here. Feels excellent on this AC adapter. I think that that's absolutely amazing. But let's come in and take a look at what's really happening. So our AC adapter is running. You can hear the fan inside this going. There is no fan inside this battery pack, but we do have some wires coming out so we can check voltage. Check it out, 28 volts. That's a little bit more than a resting standard 20 volt pack. A normal 20 volt pack, if you look back at a lot of our videos, it's gonna come in just over 20 volts fully charged. This, 28, that's quite a bit. Now we turn this guy on. We hit 23, 64, move it around. It's gonna be between 23 and 24 volts. That's pushing. Not a problem probably without having a brushless motor. I'm sure this is brushed it's probably not gonna hurt anything. But when we switch around between some tools, we can see that our DCD996 very happy will run. Now, will it perform? We're gonna test that out later. We take the DCD8 or DCF850, an impact driver. What's this guy gonna do? Trigger feels a little funny. It'll work slow, but if you hit it fast, it kind of likes to jump. Not surprised, right, with a brushless motor and all this electronics. The other thing with the wires in there, it makes it a little bit awkward. Here is the DCG 426, this die grinder. Ooh, better watch out with where those wires are. Zero issue, zero issue at all. But if I come over here to the DCD 800, Nada, nothing. DCD 999. Nada, not happy. So that's not good if we talk about a tool that uh, is an AC adapter but doesn't work for everything. Here's the DCD 791. Nothing. But if we hook her up to the saw, check this. So weird, right? Now let's put some of this stuff to use and see what actually happens while we're using it. We're gonna start with the circular saw. We had to cut off this end where we did a bunch of testing with nails. 28 volts currently. This guy's sitting behind us. We're gonna keep all these wires out of the way and see if we actually can make it through this wood. And you can watch right here and see what the voltage does. Now that was interesting because it dipped down into the 11s. Now that is not something that we normally would see with any other battery. So we rarely suggest running a circular saw with a five amp hour battery, but we have one here that is 90% charged, I'd say 19.67 volts. Let's just run through the same cut and see where it goes. So 17 volts was the lowest that I seen there. That's telling me that this AC to DC converter is going to be similar to a two amp hour battery in my opinion, but let's do some more testing. Still have the five amp hour battery on here. We're at 19.59 volts. I'm having a little trouble keeping this thing stable with the wood bouncing around, but let's give it heck, see what happens here, level three and it's not gonna move. So let's just go to level two 
and let's see how we go through this. We obviously hit a knot. As that's not pulling us through, let's clean this off a little bit. Try another section. Level 2, 19.4. I saw 14 volts there at one point. We're down to 19, it'll recover. Let's go one more here and see what happens. I saw 13 once when we really got into it. Let's switch back over to our AC adapter. We have the AC adapter on. The one thing I noticed right off the bat, this cord, unlike the Metabo HPT, is short. The Metabo HPT is really long, gives you room to move around. So I feel attached to this box. 28 volts, way too high, but this drill will take it. We were on level three initially, so let's go back there, try this again, see what happens. 28 volts, nothing. It went down so quick. Oh, we've seen 33 there. That's an interesting way to play the game. Let's try this again on level two. Going the right way. Nothing. Let's try level one. Give it a little room to start. 28 volts. We saw 10 there. I should have the auxiliary handle on this. I always talk about needing them. So we saw 10 volts on that. That's down lower probably than a two amp hour battery. Although it works and it makes it interesting, I wouldn't suggest using it for anything big. Now when I say that, maybe this isn't suggested to be used at all. Let's see what an impact driver with some standard deck screws does. This should be interesting. First, I want to say I'm on level three. So here, I want to see if I have control. And while the light, the LED light, doesn't make it look like I have control, I do. So I'm seeing fairly normal voltage there. That was 18 at its lowest, but it's also very quick. So for something like this, if you wanted to drive impacts or screws, again, something a two amp hour battery would do consistently, this will do it. Although I do feel that's a little jumpy on the way out. Let's just take one slow and see what happens. Way too high a voltage, but it's working. So by no means am I trying to sell you this, make you say, hey, it works, whatever, but I will say it does work on this tool and it probably will work on anything that a one and a half to two amp hour battery would work on. So is this the answer to everything that you're dreaming of and you got an AC adapter that works for everything? Oh, no way. It might it possibly work for someone who says, I have this one tool that sits in this one spot and I don't want to do anything else with it and this is where it's at. It might, and I say might work for you. If you're running brushless tools, I think that would be better than brush tools. With that said, you still only have the power of a 1.5 amp hour battery. That means the amp output of the 1.5 amp hour battery, which is pretty low and we've proven that there's different amp outputs through the whole line and usually the higher amp hour holds the voltage higher and everything else so you can go into that there's a whole video i'll put a link in the description to it great video to watch to see what battery you should use for what tool this guy is going to perform similar to a 1.5 to a 2 amp hour battery pack and in some tools it just simply isn't going to work it was worth the try because i like the metabo hpt line 
a lot because I have the ability to say, okay, that guy's running off of the AC adapter, this guy's on here, we got all this stuff moving, I don't need the batteries, or I do need the batteries, or I need a combination of, and it rocks and rolls, and I'd love to find the same thing for DeWalt. As you can see, someone's gonna have to put a lot of R&D into one of these to make them output what we need so that we have similar power and voltage. This guy's way too high in voltage and it drops way too easily. So we need to find that medium where we hold a good voltage but can hold it there at a higher amp level in order to run all these tools. And that's simply the problem most likely with some of these other tools on over here. They're like, hey, whoa, way too high a voltage. I'm not turning on. And maybe they have more sophisticated controls than some of the other ones. That interests me a lot. But I'd love to hear your comments on this. And if you have a use for it, I'd like to hear what you're gonna use it for. Most of you are gonna tell me, I'd never even let that thing touch my tools. And I wouldn't mind knowing that either, but I'm willing to hang it out here a little bit for the sake of testing. So as always, give us a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your time and your comments. Have a great day.